Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little something with the van, thanks to all of your love. Hey right, you guys, I'm back here at the van again today. Got my trusty assistant Tamara here with me. And we went and picked up a broom and a rake because there's a nice few uh, piles of grass and the street sweeper couldn't get in between our vehicles, which is fine. You know what I mean? You can't jam them into where we are. But since we're here, we decided to take care of our own space and sweep it up and clean up the grass. So that's what we're going to be doing today to start the day off. She got me this nice shirt, so I'm going to not get it dirty, take it off, and get to work. <laughs> security guys they clean up the spot and we're gonna give them to them all right you guys we got a bit of the street cleaned up got it all in bags nice few of them and I'm sweeping up the dirt just getting it off the road there and I look over and look at this one all off on her own picking up the grass see there's reasons I like her all right you guys look at the difference look at that just got two more little dirt piles to pick up up front, and we'll be rocking. Yeah, the last bag, all done. And I mean, really, what did I get dirty? My hands, a little bit of my knees. There's really no reason why anybody else can't be keeping their campsite or street clean that they're staying on. All right, you guys, now that we got the street all cleaned up, this girl just made us an awesome little supper. And uh, I think we're gonna start by changing the van's oil. And this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for all you beautiful people helping me out. There's still a lot that needs to be done to this thing, but I really have big plans on what I want to do with the channel and to be able to pay back and help a lot of other people. So stay tuned for that. that oil to drain I thought I would show you guys the vice grip that is holding on to my drive shaft or holding my drive shaft on <laughs> wasn't joking everybody it's literally hanging on there by a vice grip and that will probably be tomorrow's project after cleaning the streets and doing an oil change such a beautiful day we've got to go for a little rollerblade or something and once that's done peeing all over the place we're gonna be changing this filter right here a little mechanic trick that I learned over the years since the pan won't allow you to get a real good grip on this filter I just put a ratchet strap around it and then it allows you to tighten on to it and grab it off I'm sure they make a tool for this to make it easier but for me this little redneck trick works of course you can't do anything without getting something in your eye right <laughs> anyway onward that uh, my dad showed me and a lot of other mechanics in my life have showed me is to pre-fill your filter so that the engine doesn't have to do all the work and you don't need to completely fill it just get a bit in there and then the uh, it'll all be happy with you another quick tech tip is to rub some oil all over this rubber o-ring I don't know if you guys can see that but if you can rub some oil around that rubber o-ring you or whoever goes to take it off next time won't have to really strain to get the filter off <laughs> all right filters on drain plugs next and then we can fill it back up yeah this is a tight spot 
yeah, I know. Mechanics out there are going to be like, you used a thumb wrench? I didn't have a 15, so that's what I got. That's what I'll use. Time to put some oil in. Okay, now we got the oil in, and we could use this jug to put the old oil from the container into here, so that when we go to the oil recycling, we could drop it all off. Okay. We're going to be adding some Lucas just to help it. This stuff is like molasses, so it takes a while to get in there. see these little holes the oil is about right there so that's exactly where we need it so we're all done with the oil for the day transmission fluid tomorrow and hopefully we'll get a deck carrier bearing bolt it's actually a really nice evening so I figure why not hit some blades we gotta wait on parts anyway so if we could do at least one thing every single day soon enough this thing will be back on the road just thanks to all of you Thank <laughs> you.